Hi there, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to introduce a couple new poses today. So let's go ahead and start off our yoga Pilates class with just a couple shoulder rolls. Rocking to our heels and to the ball of our foot. Bending our knees, take a nice deep breath in. Inhale, exhale on top. And again, another nice deep breath in. Exhale, and last one. Nice deep breath in. Inhale, interlace those fingers. Exhale and elongate. Slowly go to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, go to the right. And inhale, center. Look up, starting to lean back. Bring those arms back. Push the hips forward. Inhale, center. Hinging at the waist. Go ahead and engage those abs. Bring those arms up towards the ceiling. Relax the arms down. Let them swing. And start to march the right and left leg. Going into our cat and cow stretch, bending both the knees, head up, tail up. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale and curl. Inhale, exhale, head up, tail up. Inhale and curl all the way back up to a standing position. All right, let's go ahead and bring those feet about hip width apart. Extend those arms out in front of you. And just a couple squats. Squeezing the glutes on the way up. Making sure the knees go straight ahead. Don't let them fall in. Going into our chair pose. Bring those arms up. Sitting down and holding. Lifting those heels up off the ground. Slowly coming up for four, three, two, Hold and squeeze. Try to keep those heels off the ground. Going down into that chair. And coming up for four, three, two, one. Feet come together. First forward fold. Exhale down. Stretching out those hamstrings. Bending the knees. Take a nice deep breath in. Inhale. Going right into our three balance poses. Balancing on the right leg, lift the left up for tree. Hike the left hip up. Inhale, hands come down. Exhale, lift them up, right leg lifts. Hiking the right hip up. Going into our dancer pose. Breath comes in, hands come down. Bring the hands up, drop the left hand, grabbing onto that left foot. Kick the leg away from the body, stretching out that chest. And release, breath comes in. Drop the right arm down, grabbing onto the right foot. Kick the leg away from the body. Release the leg, inhale, going into our eagle pose. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring our right arm in front of the left, bend the knee. Our right leg taps out, up and over the top. And then slowly bring the elbows away from the body. So in our um, eagle pose, we're going to stretch out the back part of the shoulders, right? Opening up all the joints, the hip, the knee, and the ankle. Inhale, release. Left arm in front of the right. Bend the knees. Tap the left leg out, up, and over the top. Good. That 
is our third balance pose. Go ahead and release. Inhale, going into our forward fold again. Exhale, all the way down to the ground. Slowly bring those fingertips to the elbows. Let the head hang. We're going to bring our hands down to the ground. Slowly start to walk those legs out the width of the mat. And just relax down. Use those hands to support yourself. Slowly walk those feet back in. Take a nice deep breath in. Inhale, exhale, come all the way up. Face step out, going into our warrior series. So starting with warrior two, let's go ahead, point our left foot, keep the other right leg forward. In warrior two, start to really bend that left knee, sinking into that pose. Into reverse warrior, lean forward, exhale, looking up towards the ceiling. Getting a nice stretch on the right hip flexor, that back hip. Into bent angle, down to the ground, arm comes up, look up at the ceiling. Breath comes in, inhale. Exhale and reach. One more time. Inhale. Exhale and reach and hold. Pushing your leg in towards that arm, strengthening that inner thigh. Transitioning now into triangle. Everything straightens out. Inner thigh stretch. From triangle, forehead to knee. So we bring our head down towards our knee. From forehead to knee, we're gonna go ahead and lift the left hand, and now we're going into revolving triangle. From revolving triangle, we're going to bring both arms up into warrior one. So we're facing forward. From warrior one, we're going to push off that back foot into warrior three, working on balance. Scooping those abs up towards that spine, squeezing that right glute, keeping the right hip down, holding for four, three, two, feet together, reaching up, inhale, into our salute to the sun, down to the ground. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, step back. We're in that nice, strong plank position. From our plank position, we're going to lower ourselves all the way down to the ground. Exhale up into our up dog. Stretching out those abs. Getting a little endurance on those shoulders. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, down dog. either into a plank position and an up dog or bend those elbows. The head comes down, the nose, the chin, the chest. And reverse that or just lift the hips up. Exhale, down dog, last time. Bend those knees. Pop it forward and slowly come up. We're going to repeat the same thing, but we're adding on three different poses onto the other side. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hop out or step out. Turn that right foot into warrior one. So the more that you bend that right knee, the more of a stretch you're going to get. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, into reverse. Inhale, 
into our bent angle. So we're gonna go down towards the ground, pressing our arm into that inner thigh, reaching up through those fingertips, looking up towards the ceiling. Into triangle, we're gonna straighten out our leg, inner thigh stretch. From triangle, forehead to knee. From forehead to knee, we're going into revolving triangle. So we're gonna lift that right arm up. From revolving triangle, going into warrior one, bringing both arms up. So getting a nice stretch on that back hip. From warrior one, going into warrior three, we're going to push off that back leg, reaching through those fingertips. Working on balance. into our salute to the sun. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, down to the ground. Inhale, bend the knees and hop back. And that nice strong plank position into a side plank. Remember, you can drop to a knee. Back into a plank, working on that core work and lots of shoulder endurance. Side plank, other side. Back into that plank, lowering down into a hover. So we're strengthening the triceps. Exhale out, up dog. <sighs> Lift those hips up, down dog. <sighs> Stretching out those calves. And we're gonna go ahead and drop to our knees into child's pose. From child's pose, we're gonna go over two new poses, bringing those knees together, and we're going into rabbit. So rabbit, there's lots of shoulder flexibility right here. So what we're trying to do, we're interlacing our fingers, our forehead is touching the ground, we're gonna lift our arms up and then our head up. So our arms lift up, our head peels off, we curl up one vertebrae at a time. And then we go back down. We slowly curl down, abs are pulled in, the forehead touches, and then the arms. And repeat, arms lift up, slowly peel up. And one more time going down, curling down. And then the arms touch. Good, go ahead and help yourself up. Coming up to a kneeling position, going into camel. This is a pretty deep hyperextension of the spine. So we're gonna start with our hands to the small of our back, looking up towards the ceiling, and we're just gonna lean back, okay? And maybe that's as far as you take this next pose. If you can, in the camel, we're gonna go ahead and reach back, really opening up that chest and those quads. And then we release with one hand and we release with the other hand. Have a seat on those heels. Going back into our down dog. Right leg forward for warrior one. into warrior three. And reaching all the way up nice and tall and relax. Good. All right, let's go ahead and come back onto our hands and our knees. And let's just do a couple cat and cow stretches 
curling the spine and head up, tail up. And again, curling the spine, head up, tail up. All right, let's lay all the way down onto the ground going into Cobra. So Cobra, we're lifting our upper body, our feet are together, pushing them into the ground. Okay, strengthening the low back, take a breath in. Exhale, push the feet into the ground, lifting the chest up. I'm not using my hands, using the strength of my low back. Inhale, release. Exhale, and again, lifting up. And release, and into child's pose. Good, and come back down onto your belly. So this next pose, which is called the bow, like a bow and arrow, is similar to the dancer pose because we're stretching out the chest, but we're using the strength of the quads to pull the arms back. So you're gonna bend one leg and you're gonna hold on to the foot. Now this is maybe where you um, start because the next step is to grab onto both legs. So we're doing this twice. So if you can only grab one leg, just do the other next time. Take a breath in to prepare. Exhale out, keep the legs away from the body, peeling the chest up off the ground, stretching out that chest. Inhale, relax. Exhale and bring those legs away from the body, holding for four, three, two, and relax. Down dog. Right knee forward for pigeon. Stretching out the glutes. Lifting yourself up, down dog. Left knee forward for pigeon. From our pigeon position, we're gonna go ahead, come up onto our forearms and onto our toes, into that low plank, working on our core work. Abs are pulled in. Squeezing our glutes, transitioning into some more Pilates right now. Keep holding. And excellent, drop to the knees. And let's bring our legs in front of us. Going into our Pilates roll up. Heels stay on the ground. Inhale, take a breath in, curling down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, curl up. Two, three, reaching down towards those toes. And again, inhale, bring the arms up, curl down. And bringing it back up again. Diving down towards those ankles. From our Pilates roll up, we're gonna go into our boat. So let's bring our hands back, bend those knees, abs are pulled in, extend right leg, left leg, and both legs. Again, right leg, left leg, and both legs. Okay, if you're able to, bring the arms out, right leg, left, and both. Again, right, left, and both. Holding this half boat position, curl down into teaser prep, one vertebrae at a time, inhale, exhale, curl it up, two, three, and hold. And again, down, two, three, four, curling it up, two, three, and hold. Extend the legs straight if you can for boat. Bring the knees to the chest and curl and roll. And relax all the way onto your back. Pull the right knee in, stretch out the left leg. And switch. So if you're really tight in your low back, this is a nice kind of beginner low back stretch to do. Now we're gonna turn this into a Pilates core exercise. So we're gonna switch again 
Lift the head and the shoulders up off the ground. That other leg is nice and strong, extending away from the body. And switch. 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 Keep that pattern going. Come up a little bit higher in four, three, two, and hold. Fingertips to forehead, twist the body. Twisting towards my knee and twist, twist, twist. Good, keep that going. We got four, three, two, and one, and relax. All right, that was working those obliques or those side muscles. Lift the legs up, and we're gonna go into a little tail lift. By all means, you can press those hands into the ground and that's fine. Okay, I'm trying not to do a big body movement though. I'm trying to lift my legs straight up towards the ceiling using my abs. All right, we're gonna do one tail lift. Lift the head and the shoulders up, scissor kick for one, two, three, four. Tail lift, scissor, one, two, three, four. Tail lift, one, two, three, four. And last one, tail lift, one, two, three, four. Going right into a single leg stretch. We have four more, three, two, and one. Excellent, and relax. All right, hands are by our side. We're all set up to go into bridge. So we're slowly gonna lift the bottom up off the ground, squeezing one vertebrae at a time all the way up, and then curl all the way back down again. And again, slowly coming up, one vertebrae at a time, squeezing the glutes, and coming back down. Excellent. Go ahead and relax those legs out. You're gonna bring those palms up, and I'm gonna have you just take a couple nice deep breaths. So as you're inhaling in through the nose, in that corpse position, and you're exhaling out through the mouth, I want you to start to relax the toes, the ankles, and the whole time while you're relaxing each body part, we're still inhaling, feeling that chest rise, and exhaling out, and let that chest and belly fall. We're relaxing the calves, those thighs, the hamstrings, the hips feel open. Low back has no tension at all. It's okay if those toes kind of flop to the side. Everything feels nice and relaxed, nice and heavy from your hips down to your toes. We're relaxing all the muscles along the spine. The shoulders are away from the ears. The chest feels open. Relaxing the neck, the head, your eyebrows, your cheekbones, your lips. And you're just practicing that nice inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Focusing on relaxing everything from the top of your head all the way to your toes. And stay in this position as long as you like. <sighs> 